versus ruminant digestion. First of all, what is digestion? Digestion is the process of breaking down feed into simple substances that can be absorbed by the body. Absorption is the taking of the digestive parts of the feed and absorbing it into the bloodstream so it can be used by the body. Digestive system. The digestive system consists of parts of the body involved in chewing and digesting feed. This system also moves the digested feed through the animal's body and absorbs the products of digestion. There are four basic types of digestive systems. There is the monogastric, avian, ruminant, and poseidon ruminant. However, in this presentation, we will be looking more into monogastric and ruminant digestion. Monogastric digestive system. A monogastric digestive system has only one simple stomach. The stomach secretes acid which destroys most bacteria and breaks down the feed materials in the stomach. Animals with this type of digestive system are able to eat feed that are high in concentrates. Examples of monogastric animals are hogs, cats, dogs and even humans. Here we have a diagram of a monogastric digestive system. As you can see, there is a picture of a horse. Now, the digestive system of the horse is divided into two main components. There is the foregut and the hindgut. The foregut cons consists of the stomach and small intestine. And the hindgut consists of the cecum, large colon and small colon. The foregut is mainly responsible for the digestion of feed as it enters through the mouth and passed down by the oesophagus. The hindgut, however, is responsible for absorption. As feed is digested through the foregut, it is then passed down to the hindgut where it is absorbed back into the bloodstream so that it can be used by the body. Ruminant digestive system. The ruminant digestive system has a large stomach that is divided into four compartments the rumen, reticulum, omasm, and abomasm. The ruminant digestive system is found in cattle, sheep, goats, and deer. Ruminant animals eat feed rations that are high in roughages but low in concentrates. Rumen. The first and largest section of the stomach is the rumen, where solid feed is mixed and partially broken down. The rumen contains millions of bacteria and other microbes that promote fermentation, which breaks down these roughages. The rumen also contains microorganisms that synthesize amino acids and B-complex vitamins. Amino acids, as we know, are the building blocks of proteins and are very essential for the growth and maintenance of cells. The reticulum. The reticulum is the second part of the stomach. The reticulum is a small pouch on the side of the rumen that traps foreign materials such as wires, nails, and so forth. Since ruminants do not chew their food before swallowing, they will occasionally swallow frozen objects. That is where the reticulum helps to trap these foreign objects so that not to cause problems in the digestion of their food. The, ob the omasm. The omasm is the third component of the stomach. The omasm produces a grinding action on the feed and removes some of the water from the feed. Hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes are mixed with the feed in the, om in the omasm to help in the digestion, digestion process. The abomasm. The abomasm is the fourth compartment of the stomach. The abomasm is also referred to as the true stomach because it is similar to the stomach in monogastric animals. This is in the sense 
that in the abomasm is where food or feed is fully broken down and ready for absorption. Here we have a diagram of a ruminant digestive uh, system. As you can see here there is a picture or a diagram of a cow. Now in the cow as you see some arrows that are pointing in. As you can see this shows uh, where food travels as it enters through the mouth and passes down through the esophagus to the different compartments of the stomach. As you can see the first compartment that it passes into is the rumen. As it goes into the rumen it is then passed down to the reticulum where there it is then regurgitated back up into the mouth where the cud is chewed upon again. Then the cow swallows the cud and as it is passed back down to the stomach through the esophagus it is now passed on to the third compartment which is the omasm where again it is further digested and then passed down to the abomasm where it is known as the true stomach and undergoes the final process of digestion before being passed down or being passed on to the intestine where absorption takes place. That concludes our presentation on monogastric versus ruminant digestion. Thank you.